Okay, let's come into the second energy body, which is the negative mind. Now, this is our risk discerner. This is our critical thinker. This is where the ego resides. This is the fear-based place that we love to hang out in. The first thing that happens is the soul starts moving through with the seeds of desire, of pleasure. It comes straight into the negative mind. And this is where we're like, I can't do it. It's too big a risk. This could happen. Can you be with the energy of fear more? as we recode. It's the same thing. It's the same energy source. Can you see that we can't have one without the other? Can you be with fear more? Can you be with self-doubt more? Can you be with uncertainty more? Can you be with the ego more? Can you be with the fear more? Not trying to defeat it and slay it, and destroy it, but can you be with it? Can you see the difference? So many of us are spending time trying to slay the demons of the ego and the fear, eradicate it, annihilate it. What we want to be doing is we want to be able to hold it and still be able to move through the energy bodies. I'm getting you to hold more energy. This can change everything for you. I want you to be able to hold more fear and more doubt. I want you to be able to hold more power. What we fear is fear itself. We fear the anticipation of pain. So we come into our humanness, we try and control and we try and protect and we try and do whatever we can to dilute that feeling of fear. But what if you didn't? Well, if you didn't need to dilute the feeling of fear because you knew you had the power to be with it in your body.